Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, a naval warfare and strategy game made by Game Labs. This is episode number 9 of our Let's Play series, playing as the Spanish Empire, fighting in a war against the United States in 1896. It's kind of an early Spanish-American war, except Spain is much better prepared for the war. And so far, the war has been going well. In our last episode, we saw our Iron Priest class torpedo boats absolutely rain down havoc with, I'm calling them nuclear torpedoes, but really it's just, they've got a crazy strong broadside of torpedoes. They fire six torpedoes at a time off their, off their tiny hulls. So I'm a big fan of that class. It's been working well for us. The war started off a bit rough, but it's really turned in our favor since then, despite the fact that the Americans keep building more and more and more ships. And I, I, I don't know how to counter it. Um, this was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel last night, and we're about to fight another battle against the Americans where they have seven torpedo boats and I believe two armored cruisers, and we've got one armored cruiser, three light cruisers, and uh, something. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, this was taken from a Twitch live stream. I think I already said that, but this is episode number nine in this series, so you, you don't need to hear me give this much nonsense before the video starts. Let's just start the battle. One battle line, that's the Maria Juan. She's the head of this fleet. We've got three CLs on screening duties, and the TBs are set to follow. They will wait. Is someone colliding with someone? Why am I get? Oh. No, who's colliding with who? I don't see any collisions, unless they're the AI. Why am I getting the collision sound effect? Are we assuming it's the AI? Because there's a lot of collision noises coming through here. Also, it's pretty funny that the CA would be leading the charge here. Especially when you've got ships set to screen. You're screening from behind. How effective is that going to be? Hey, Patton, thanks for the follow. Touching Priest, thank you for the follow. All right, here we go, boys. They've got torpedo boats up front. They've got their stubby gun armored cruisers back here. Angelic Knight, thank you for the follow. Like, I would not want to be charging enemy torpedo boats with my armored cruiser. That just is dumb. Whoa! Well, something got hit right off the bat. Warship sinks due to extensive damage. A two-inch CA... What was that? A five-inch armored cruiser shell just sank an enemy torpedo boat already? All right, you need to turn away. You're getting way too close in. Hey, Seals, you literally your job is to screen, which means to get in front, not behind. No, Leon, you should be the lead. I don't, I don't know. The big boomers. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. All right, our torpedo boat's... I don't even know what you guys are doing, but this is going to be a clusterfuck. We should have gotten these guys organized before we charged headlong into the enemy. These guys are like, form up, form up, everybody. All right, that's the flag near, so that's actually not as close as I thought. Is this the armored cruiser off to the left? Or it's one of them. They got two. I forgot about that. This might actually... Turning away is going to extend the length of the gunfight before our torpedoes can get into action. Might not be the best strategy, actually. I'd like to have my TBs go up and charge the enemy armored cruisers before their guns can do much. We are colliding with our friendlies here, by the way. 
How about you also don't fire torpedoes at the enemy? TBs. Because that would just be a waste. Pause. Torpedoes are away from the enemy. Oh, we already fired our torpedoes. Good. Just what I said not to do. So turning away didn't seem to be a good idea, but turning into this crowd of enemy ships is probably also a bad idea. So what do we do? Reverse? Reverse our turn? Like an emergency reverse? I don't know if that'll work. I guess we will find out. They have two torpedoes in the water, so they got some kind of spread going here. At least one of those fish is going to miss. They do have a chance on one of them, though. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. So, I don't want you to turn your stern into this. It's, it might go right alongside you if you just go straight. Whew! It just missed. Look at that, boys. Look at that. The nim nimbality, that's not a word, of the, uh, of the torpedo, of the light, the armor, the light cruiser comes to save the day. Our own, by the way, our own torpedo missed, which is not a surprise. I did not want you to shoot that. Oh, by the way, I don't know what you're doing over here, Fairland, but like, seeing as you are already detached drop smoke and engage this fucker use your torpedoes oh you already did fire one not exactly I guess turn the other way then oh wait did we hit that guy oh 8 inch shell the armored cruiser 20,000 damage he just, he just blew this guy away Dud torpedo. So his torpedo did hit, but it was a dud. Okay, well, good hit on you. Man, these torpedo crews have tremendous accuracy. So second enemy CL down. The Marina Wands crew's got some good gunnery. Oh, shit. How far do these... What are the, what's the range on these torpedoes? They're going to, like, just sail long right into my torpedo boats. No, I think you're safe if you just sail out this way. I don't think they actually have this long a range. I wonder if they just keep going, though. If that's some kind of weird bug where they don't actually run out of fuel. All right, so... CA, come back this way. Two enemy TBs down. What does that leave? Five more? Alright, this CL CL is gonna fire on the enemy armored cruiser. They're turning. 
And we're just behind. Fuck. All right, let's close the range. Actually, these guys, I think, have fast torpedoes, so they've got shorter ranges. But remember, they've got the uh, triple mount of doubles, so... It doesn't take a lot. So while the enemy cruiser's largely dead in the water because of that evasive turn, let's have our torpedo boat here close in. For the kill. It's going to take him a while to get his speed back up. And there go our fish. Okay, pause. You have no more use to this battle in a functional sense, so get out of there. You, sir, are the new lead. All your fish are gone. <laughs> Die! Oh my god! Ammo detonation. Alright, he did get a fish out against the uh, feral land I'm assuming it's against the feral land that's like ridiculous overkill <laughs> all of those torpedoes all on one target did they all blow up And he's sinking. Oh my god. Alright, torpedo boats. Get in here. I think the enemy's running away, by the way, after those initial losses. Or against the cricket. There's no point in using your ammo against the enemy CA. I don't really care about the enemy torpedo boats, honestly. If we can knock both these CAs out. Man, that was a hell of an explosion. So this is, I think, the older class of torpedo. These guys have four torpedo tubes. Instead of three doubles, it's two It's two singles on each, each broadside. So it would not be quite as devastating as what hit the Reno there. Right, this enemy torpedo boat might be trying the cricket, might be trying to go after my CA. Definitely looks like it. So what are we up to? Two torpedo boats sunk and a armored cruiser so far. With just moderate damage to some of our ships. The enemy's firing torpedoes. I intended to turn away. And they just missed. Alright. Hard over, sir. Or I guess just go past him, because that's not gonna... Not gonna work. One fish away. Two fish away. Not a good angle. Oh, we're dead. Oh, they missed. Or they had a dud. And so did we. Two. Great. Pause. Detach. Swing right. Can 
Can one of your rear tubes fire here? Be great if you could. Just shoot like that. That's gotta be in your arc. It is. Okay. This lead TB is in pretty serious trouble. There we go. Nice hit there. Oh, but before you sink here, Briskard, fire your torpedoes. No? There we go. There they go. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom! Alright, that armored cruiser's toast. Briskard might sink. She's taking some... Oh, shit. Enemy torpedo boat over here. Alright, so they did work into our task force. I'm assuming this CA's, this, the Dallas is done. I don't want the CA to get... Yep, Dallas is going down. I don't want the, the CA's to get too close in, or the CL's for that matter. The enemy task force... Kind of already too late. There's a frickin' knife fight in here. He's gonna if he wastes torpedoes on my torpedo boat, that I would love I'd be fine with that. Pause. But he's not going to. Alright. So what do we do here? Do we do emergency stop reverse? Like that worked last time. But this is a frickin' armored cruiser. Doesn't quite turn on a dime. Yes! Their, their stupid thing broke. It didn't work. Their torpedo blew up or detonated or whatever. Can we, like, hit this guy a bunch? Be nice. So get your speed back up before he can come alongside you. Get the fuck away from him. I just want to end the battle. At this point, we've won. If we can just fucking survive. Alright, we got a nice penetration hit there with our two-inch guns with our CL. Oh, we're gonna collide. Lol. Backfall! Oh, shit. Alright, so we just hit that torpedo boat pretty heavily. Uh, emergency back for everybody. Avoid the torpedo. Maybe they'll collide into each other and stop each other from hitting it. Why are you turning into it? Turn away from it. We're going to collide, but that might actually save us. That might save us. Or we're not going to collide, but we're still going to avoid it. Better avoid it. Phew. That torpedo started to turn. The fuck? Alright, there's another enemy torpedo. One of our torpedo boats got hit by an enemy dud torpedo by the looks of it. This ship has no engine. Oh, because we're... Nice! That broadside just obliterated a four-inch shell. Uh, He 
there's no more torpedoes there. Okay, good. So the Pharaoh land just nuked the Fushka, or however you pronounce that. So that's their third TB down. Could you imagine trying to command this fucking battle? Everybody's just like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Some of our ships aren't even in the action. They're just miles away. So everybody's just doing figure eights through the formations. What formations are there even? Okay. Fairland, you're going to turn in. so the Hartford looks like it's almost dead in the water. I don't know if that's like to avoid colliding with the enemy or what. Your engine needs to speed up, buddy. How did the en all three engines got damaged? Whoa, torpedo detonation destroyed. Two inch shell just hit it. That was on the... I think that was the TV that was already sinking. Or no, that's the Hartford. Or no, it's the Hunchback, I think, over here. We also badly hit the Hunchback. Kind of losing track of what's happening at the moment. All right, so the flotation is, is rapidly tailing off on... Both of those ships, by the looks of it. Hunchback has torpedoes, though, which is a little un unnerving. All right, so Hartford's going down. More hits to them. I know that the emergency reverse turns off your engines, but I, I thought, like, I had already... Usually, you can turn them back on, which I thought I already did. This is definitely, no doubt, this was a scrap. It was a lopsided, it ended up being a lopsided, it ended up being a chaotic lopsided scrap. Hey, Feraland, turn your damn engines back on. It's like they're glitched out or something, damaged. I think they still have a couple TBs left. I'm guessing they're running. I wonder if just the act of the emergency reverse has a percentage chance of wrecking your engines, perhaps? Oh, nope, there's another one coming up here, so they're not... They haven't decided to totally run away yet. Alright, this guy's fucked. So now it's just the... Uh, well, it's the Thornton now. They're all coming up piecemeal. <laughs> Throw your... Get back to you on that. You know... I don't know that I like your tone. Pause. <laughs> We're just going to keep throwing the ship into reverse. Just do it. All right, that will sink our CL if it hits. The emergency reverse does seem to be particularly effective. Also, the enemy TB seem to be the only thing that's maneuverable enough to avoid my torpedoes. So Leon does look like we damaged her engines as well. She's already done this emergency reverse at least once. 
But she'll still have some propulsion with the two, only two out of three engines damaged. Fairland's going to be sitting ducks. A sitting duck to the enemy, though, if it gets around with more torpedoes against her. She's at least out of torpedo ammo for the moment. Fairland's slowly repairing her engines. She's now got some propulsion. Why is the... Th I don't know why the enemy just, like, stopped. I don't want to get too close to her, because her torpedoes are more than half reloaded. But if I could get a nice broadside from San Juan into Thornton, we could probably finish her off. There we go. Aiden shell hit over pen. Another over pen flooding. She's not going to get a chance. She's not going to survive. All right. I don't care about finishing the rest of you off. We'll just end this battle as soon as we can. Throw your car into reverse while going full speed and get back to me on that. Ferret, you know, Father Lucent, thanks for the follow. Dendro, also, thank you for the follow. All right. Did we lose anything? It was chaotic as hell to have not lost a single ship. How about that American Navy? They gave us some drubbings in the first couple battles we fought them in. But since then, we seem to have found our footing. Two CAs sunk and six torpedo boats sunk. Eight ships to zero. Bloody Bad day for the American Navy. Spanish torpedoes for the win. Yeah, it seems to me like going hardcore into getting as many fish on your ships early is a good good strategy. Although, enemy torpedo boats or any torpedo boats are crazy vulnerable to gunfire. So we did see quite a bit of useful shell hits in this battle. But uh, bad day for the American Navy, huh? The enemy is eager to fight us with a stronger fleet. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. So that was nice. We deployed uh, our squadron here and um, some of these... Actually, it wasn't even these ships, huh? Or maybe it was and it's just... Again, I, I don't... Don't know exactly... Are any of those ships repairing now? Those guys with all that damage? Do I get respect for winning battles? I'd have to take a look. Okay, so these guys are repairing now. How is he damaged at 100%? Four months. Okay. Um, If you're 100%, you'd think you'd be sunk. Just saying. All right. What is our financial situation? 94. Uh, we've got 9 million a month at the moment. These shipyards have some capacity to handle these repairs that will be coming in next month. We have 9,000 crew and almost $200 million in the bank. Our naval prestige definitely did go up, so we are highly respected. And the unrest is content. The American unrest level is very content. And their prestige is dropping. They lost... What Did they go up by... Were they at 34 CAs and now they're down to 32? Like It just seems like they're going to be able to build more than I can ever possibly sink. Oh, I get it now. World War II, huh? Also, how did our fuel go up when our ships arrived off station? Do they refuel when they're just like chilling here? Are we sending colliers up from Cuba or what's going on there? Pretty comfortable victory point lead now. We've almost got triple what they have. Colombia is making a navy apparently. A task force. Defense against enemy task force. 
An enemy task force approaches offensively. We must counter their movement. So one CL versus two TBs. An even fight. Okay. How do you win the war against them to force them to surrender? So, like, there can be negotiated pieces. Governments can also fall if they become unstable. I don't know in a situation like this where we're realistically never going to, like, destroy the enemy fleet how exactly that works. You know, we're never going to actually force them to surrender. Not at least navally. Like, we're not going to sink the whole thing. They just have too many ships. That would take forever. So, I guess we'll see. I ordered the torpedo boats to form up the line of battle with me. Southwest is where we are. Or where they are. From what you found, going into emergency reverse can potentially damage engines. Well, it, it definitely did in the last Battle Dragon. Spotted to the south. Let's get down to business and defeat the Americans. All right, here they are, boys. An even fight. Two TBs and one CL apiece. They are leading the way with their TBs. At least one of them. Second ship in line appears to be a cruiser. I like the look of their cruiser design. Turret, 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 turret. That's a nice cruiser. See if we can cut in front of them. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Left full rudder. Good. We missed. Or they missed. Is that all their torpedo ammo? Lol. You fucked. You fucked. Just close the range with them. There we go. Just obliterate them now with our gunnery. Fight them on both sides of the ship. It's like an Age of Sail ship, just sailing between two enemy lines, breaking the line, and then using guns on both sides. Double the damage. Oh, God, we actually fired a torpedo against them. And we missed. You missed. How could you miss? By the way, don't you dare fire your torpedoes. It would have been nice if we got a few hits on this. We got the one hit on its rudder, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Let's detach this guy and send him in. We'll have him fire a torpedo at point blank range. Because he has at least reloads. The other one does not. Overpen and fire. Fuck.
We're going to lose this guy. Heal the ship. Do your best. Don't give up the ship. I don't want to lose that guy. That The Iron Priest class with their six torpedo broadside are fearsome. The enemy has a what speed? Oh, we just fired a two fish spread. Ugh, we keep taking hits. Um, are we gonna hit this one in the in the stern? Yay! Goodbye, Kalo, I would assume. Leon's taking some fire damage. Oh, the enemy TB wants, wants a piece of me, huh? How are they not sinking? Torpedo boat would, like, disintegrate if an actual torpedo hit it. Okay. Oh, never mind. Don't, don't, don't change that. Just keep doing what you're doing. We just got an engine explosion or something. Uh, first TB? Well, we just won a battle against seven enemy torpedo boats. If that's what you're asking. Okay, she should sink now. Why are you firing torpedoes against her? You just wasted all the rest of your ammo. I told you to shoot at Genes Genesee or whatever it is. Now you're going to die. At least we know for sure that Kahlo died. Ram! They're going to ram you! Boom! Both sides are colliding with each other. We're at least doing damage to them, but we're done. Okay. Each side has lost a torpedo boat. Not really hitting the San Juan very well. How's the, uh, all right. So our other torpedo boat has suffered some damage, but she's still alive. are taking a fair bit of damage put some smoke out that'll help right Alright, I don't know how effective we can turn our rudder is damaged, so we'll see, but I'm going to try and get this, this torpedo boat in with its six torpedo broadside to deal with the uh, enemy light cruiser. She's going to take the brunt of the hits, so she's probably going to die. But if we can... Oh, God. She's got better range on her fish than we do. Already in the midst of a turn, so maybe... Yeah, reverse your turn. All right, that should miss. The rudder just turns so damn slow on this thing. Because of the damage. It's like, we can't turn the ship back the other direction for six more months. But at least their torpedoes miss. Ooh, we got a nice 5.7 inch hit on the San Juan too. Nice bit of penetration damage there. Alright, so we're coming in on the enemy. Leon has, I think, four torpedo tubes. Uh, they're just broadsides. Alright, let's turn away. 
They are still reloading, I believe, that fish, that tube. Oh, wow, she's already sinking. Okay. Okay. Enemy smoke to the north. That's where the other enemy torpedo boat is, if we end up finding her. If not, I'm fine with that. That's a, a CL and a TB versus a TB is a victory. Don't encourage that behavior. Ramming the enemy? Why wouldn't we encourage ramming? Ramming is always a good tactic. Ramming is the future of naval warfare. Didn't you know, Newhauser? In the late 1890s, most ships had rams. Wait, now there's smoke to the south? Indeed, there was that collision with the uh, British battleships in the Med where one of them cut another ship in two, and there was one famous incident of ramming in the 1870s, so a lot of naval experts actually thought in this era that the ram could be the future of, uh, of naval warfare. And, you know, I, it's very clear based on the survival numbers on any of my ships when they get sunk that someone is, is deliberately not giving these ships lifeboats because no one is surviving any of these ships. It's like two men out of 200. It's like, oh, okay. All right, another victory for us. What is a shell if not a high-speed ram? Good point, Ferret. Good point. At least maybe more of an armor-piercing one, right? HE at least have some explosive stuff. I mean, AP do too, but... Lower, lower percentage of the shell weight. All right, so we sank light damage to the TB. We lost light on both of ours, and we sank the CL and TB. Okay. We saved two crew members. The enemy lost two transports, so that'll hurt their economy a little bit. Your instinct was right, and your efforts to strengthen relations with France were successful. Plus 13 relations with France. The people take up arms against Russia. There's a cough, a special operation going on in Georgia. I believe it actually said there was a special operation. I'm not even being snarky. Um, those guys are low on fuel. So Caribbean, the Americans have one armored cruiser and one CL one TB left in the Caribbean. We've got 11, nine and nine Gulf of Mexico. They got nothing. We're just running rough shot there. You'd think we'd be sinking a little bit more merchant shipping and on the U S East coast four battleships. Oh, wow. That is where the bulk of their ships are located. It would appear. So they have no power projection in the Gulf of Mexico. And in the Caribbean, we dominate the power projection there. It'd be cool if we could like, Plan an invasion somewhere. Can we take San Juan? I would love to take San Juan. But I can't do a naval invasion. Doesn't let me right now anyway. Um, our relations with France are 51, so I'm going to keep, keep banging. Oh, I can't do that. There's a cool off period. I'd like to keep banging that, that drum for improved relations with them. I guess we'll try to improve relations with Japan. I can't, like, it doesn't let me do anything with a naval invasion thing, I don't think. Can the ships in the Caribbean do an invasion? Is there... No. How's our crew training going on any of these guys now that we've been, you know, they're still green, huh? You'd think after the number of battles we've been through, their training would go up. Uh, what's the 71,000 tons building? Let's go back to the fleet and let's find the stuff that is 
currently under construction. Uh, we have got a couple of ships that are suspended right now. The Isle de Tortuga. Isle de la Tortuga class. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It puts us a little bit over. All right, so we've thread the needle there. Um, 14,000 to 5,400. Another battle coming, maybe? They don't have a lot of ships left in the Caribbean. Or the Caribbean, depending on how you want to pronounce it. The press in various countries are fully supporting our war efforts. That's good news. Plus seven relations with France, Germany, and China. U.S. loses six transports in the Caribbean. Japan doesn't like us. The people of Boa take up arms and try and gain control of the Orange Free State. Okay, I guess it's a civil war then. I think the British haven't taken them yet. All right, how are these guys doing? What's their fuel? I don't get why we're able to refuel here. <laughs> Again, the Eastern North American... Uh, section okay why are they not sending any shipping oh they sent a battleship to the gulf of mexico that would be fun okay so the americans had 32 armored cruisers before they're back up to 35 because they're churning out ships faster than it's possible for us to do anything with their unrest level i guess went up a little bit bit i think their prestige is not doing great our prestige highly respected at 48 i wonder if that's the highest the the line goes because we've got way higher than them our national unrest is low like how do we end the damn war you know I know it hasn't been a super long war yet. It's less than a year, but. It'd be cool. I mean, you can fight over islands. There is a way to launch an invasion, I think, somehow. Uh, defense against an enemy task force. CL versus CL. Springfield versus Ferlando. 1v1 me, bruh. 1v1 me. Let's do it. Let's do this battle on turbo speed. Enemy smoke to the northeast. Okay. It is apparently stormy weather, strong gale waves, rough sea waves, engine vibrations. It'll be interesting to see if they just run. Springfield is an odd name for a coral reef. Thank you for the follow, Zart. We spotted them briefly. Oh, they're there. Hey, our training level is trained on the Springfield. The Springfield is one of the Isle de Tortugas. Enemy warship. It looks like it. It almost doesn't even look like an armored cruiser. It's got a weird stubby shape. They are smaller than us. Lower tonnage.
We're gonna go round in circles, round and round. I think that's what happened when the Alabama fought off the coast of France in the Civil War. They fought the, uh, it started with a K, I think. Um, and, uh, it was just like for a long time, the two ships are just like moving, uh, essentially doing circles as they fired. Kershaw, Kershaw, yeah. Kershaw, right? I think that's how you pronounce it. All right, they got a partial pen on us. They scored the first hit. They got another hit there. I wonder if their training's better than mine. At least on par. What is their speed? They're slower than us, so we can probably close at our leisure. They do have torpedoes, quite a few of them. Which could make this a maybe bad idea to do a knife fight. Their gun calibers are less than ours. Actually, I think this is not my design. This is the AI design. That's their fish. Uh oh. Well, I think that's about all they wrote. Although we did get a fish off too. I think it's going to miss. Oh, no, it hit. It was just a dud. Okay. Yeah, bad idea. Fine, fine. Who would have guessed? Sprinting through a battle. Bad idea. Single ship defeat. Prestige lost. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fail. I think we've got one more battle in this turn. I think it's a big one. So 600 prestige for them. Doesn't really matter. They lose seven transports in the, in the, Car in the Caribbean. Yemen is revolting against the Ottomans. Azores gain their independence against Portugal. That's funny. Um, okay, so we've got a battle here. Really? It's just another single ship battle? I was hoping that would have been uh, a bit more exciting. It's going to be one of our old shit classes. With all those extra damn defects. Let's try this. Let's do auto resolve. See what happens. Defeat. No. God damn it. Stupid AI. Uh, all right. Well, we lost two battles this turn. Didn't really matter. I don't think. I mean, we still got more than double their victory points. Am I Spanish in this game? I'm playing a Spain. Is art. At least those two crew members survived. Ugh. And Boro, thank you for the follow. A new year. Probably should build more ships now, right? I think a lot of ours just got completed, too. We have more enemies lurking for a chance to enter the war against us, as it seems the press in their countries is 100% against us. This is the exact opposite of what you said last month. At least no one's actually even remotely close to going to war with us. Japan's the closest, and they're still a ways away. All right, new technologies. Six more American transports lost in the Caribbean. So again, those, those transport losses are going to hurt them on the home front from an economic perspective, I think. I don't know how much. Um, they're building 81 ships. Their navy's expanding way faster than ours. Also, their navy's now larger than the uh, the British. Their economy's growth is rapidly slowed, though. It was nine? It was like twelve percent earlier. Now it's five. I wonder if that's the uh, 
the commerce losses that's playing into it. Granted, maybe it's just warfare because ours halved as well. More than halved. Worse than halved. Also, we are we have oil. We're making oil somewhere. Nowhere near as much as anyone else. Our, our, our oil production is less than the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Italy has no oil production, at least. Neither does Japan. You need 100,000 of tonnage in a sea zone for a naval invasion? Like 100,000 more than the enemy or just 100,000? Because I have 83,000 tons in the Caribbean right now, I think. But they have ships there too. And I've got 44,000 off the U.S. East Coast. Like these guys are fine. They're operating way far away from their. Uh... Let's do this then. Maybe we can invade San Juan. Let's move these guys to the Caribbean. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode. We are moving ships into the Caribbean. You do only need 100,000 ships to start a naval invasion. But this was streamed and recorded in the middle of an ice storm. And so the next 30 minutes or so I lost because of a power outage. And I lost the recording from OBS. So um, there may be a little bit of a gap. Nothing too crazy happens in that period of time. I take a short break and uh, move some ships around. We start the naval invasion. Um, but but yeah, so we'll see how this plays out in our next episode. Uh, there's just going to be a slight break. We're going to have to jump ahead a very short amount of time in the game. Let me know you're in, if you're interested in seeing more of this, if you're liking the series. The war is going pretty well for us. We lost a couple minor battles, but overall things are going well. And we'll see how they play out uh, in the future. Until next time, though, this is the Historical Gamer, as always, saying thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.